<laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Guard Titan here once again with my good friend Brother Stone. You say hello to people. Titan fan, welcome back, y'all. And this episode came a little late, but better late than never. As I always say, isn't that right, Brother Stogie? Because we are bringing y'all a little bit of sweetness! <laughs> this episode. <laughs> That's right. This episode is going to be about infused or flavored cigars. We've had quite a few people asking us, hey, can you do an episode on infused, maybe some flavored cigars? What are some of your favorites? Um, and we thought, yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> we smoke them. So we, so we, we get ready to cover a couple points this episode. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, stay tuned. You ready to get started? That's fine. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So, like we said at the beginning of the episode, today we are going to be talking about flavored and infused cigars, and that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, but Brother Stogie, before we get into what we're smoking tonight, what are you drinking? So, usually with what I'm smoking tonight, I usually do it with coffee, but the bottle of wine has been sitting there because they have been finished, so I'm going to finish calling your name. bittersweet Merlot. 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 <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish this up. <laughs> and what, <laughs> what about the cigar? I see you got two on the table. Which one are you going to be smoking? I do. I, I couldn't make a choice, so... For you, if you're watching these videos, I know my, one of my favorite steaks is the Nub series. Uh, the Nub 4x60 four, four ring gauge, they have the regular cigars, which is like the Cameroon, the Maduro, the Connecticut, but they're all this size. But they also have the infused cigars, flavor cigars, and yep. this is the Cafe series. So this is the Triple Roast, which is an espresso. And what I'm smoking tonight is the Double Roast, which is the Macchiato. The Ralph Macchiato. Which the Macchiato, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Coffee, you know? That's that smell. It smells uh, good, right? Man, that smell. Yeah, it All does. Right. Which is Those smell? are very good cigars. So for me tonight, um, actually I didn't, normally this is probably not the infused or flavored cigar that I would typically choose if I was buying something uh, for myself, but this is what happened to be in my humidor at the time. Uh, you guys saw it during our last episode, and I assure you, we got the audio issue from the last episode fixed to actually have our boom mic plugged into the right hole this time, so we're not taking the audio off the camera. Yeah, I had a couple of wines that night. You got one job. <laughs> I got, actually, I got quite a few jobs. All right, he, he, he do some shit. But. <laughs> But as far as this, you got one damn day. <laughs> but it's plugged into the right hole this time, right. I assure you. Uh, but tonight I'm going to be smoking from, uh, the Cuba Cuba from the Acid Line, and this is uh, from Drew Estate. Uh, their Acid Line is very popular. One of their most popular uh, blends in the Acid Line is actually their Blondie. Um, and uh, But typically if I was looking to buy, like when I buy Infused or I buy a flavored cigar, I tend to migrate more towards the Java line. I really like. Drew Estate. Yep, yeah, I really like that Java line, um, and uh, that's usually what I end up smoking if I find myself buying a flavored cigar. And that was actually my first stick. That's right. This was your fir very first that cigar was, that was smoking my very experience. First cigar was at the Cooper Cooper. That's right. So. Before we get these cut up and lit, you know, talking a little bit about your first, you know, cigar and it being a flavored infused cigar, this is typically what most, not everybody, not everybody, but most cigar smokers, this is how they get their foot in the door. That is a loud buzz. Quiet on the set. Y'all want to turn your damn phones off while we're recording. Who phone is that? Okay. All right, so, but before we get these cigars uh, lit up, Brother Stoke, you did mention that the Cuba Cuba was the first cigar uh, that you actually ever smoked. And that typically tends to be kind of the gateway cigar for most beginner cigar smokers. Now, it doesn't mean that that's, you know, every cigar smoker cuts their teeth on an infused cigar, but typically that's where they get started. And no, and you don't have to. You don't have to cut, you don't cut your teeth. You don't have to start off. <laughs> it's white guy terms. <laughs> <laughs> that don't even mean. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to start off with an infused cigar. You don't have to start off with a, a sweet tip cigar. You can start off and go right out there to a motherfucking David off if you want to. That's but right. me, I want to feel safe. I didn't want to, I didn't want to get overpowered by going off Did you say with feel a, safe? 
I want, I want to feel safe. You know what I'm saying? I want to go in there. Last thing you want to do is go and get a big boss cigar. You know what I'm saying? So your dick can hang low to the ground. You know? And just, <laughs> just swing it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just swing it because you can buy it. Trying to be all badass. You don't have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want just really basic just so I can start off my palate and see what it was about. So I started there. So don't be afraid to start there. Please. I've been hearing this way too often. Do not listen to people who tell you what to smoke. You are a grown ass man or, or woman. woman. Smoke Bingo. what the hell you want to smoke. If you feel safe going this route, do it. Okay? It's your money, your palate. If you get something that's too peppery with too much lejero and it's super spicy, you can mess up your whole cigar experience. Yeah. You probably won't even come back. Yep. So whatever you feel safe doing, do it. All right. You ready to get these cut up? Let's go, man. Let's do it. It's football season, y'all. Hey, do us, do us a favor. Throw a comment below. Rep your team. Rep your squad. Rams for life. Boom. And the best thing about it, we're both Rams fans, That's baby. Right. Two and one. <laughs> hey. But I told him earlier because I was watching football this Sunday and we were down for 14 32 all up to the fourth quarter. And then we were 35 32, went by three points. What happened? 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter, pass we get a damn pass interference call and we we'll lose the game. Man, I was pissed. <laughs> I don't think I ate for the rest of that day. <laughs> All right, so before I get this lit up and Brother Stogie loses his mind because our team lost, um, let's talk a little bit about the dry draw and some of the aroma notes, I guess, for lack of a better term, that you get off of the cigar. Man, so for this double roast, Yep, double roast, got it right. So, you just smell it, just, it, it is pure aroma, just explosion. It is straight coffee bean, chocolate, mocha. You can smell the creaminess, just, just mm -hmm. from smelling it. Just... Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Flavor, flavor yeah. explosion in my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Fla flavor <laughs> explosion in my mouth, too. <laughs> Real light draw, easy draw, loose draw from a dry drag. And it's, it's, it's pleasurable. It's a pleasurable taste. It's a pleasurable thing to kind of switch it up. Go to a flavored cigar or a few cigar or one that has a sweet tip on it and enjoy something different. Yeah, and for the Kuba Kuba, for those of you guys out there who have had, the, had this particular cigar, you'll understand exactly what I mean when I say there's no one thing that I can actually attribute this particular scent to. I've heard it referred to as Christmas, believe it or not. You know, when you walk into like a craft store or something like that during the holiday season, they got all Maybe the candles and stuff yeah. like that. Um, that's kind of the smell that people associate it with. It's got a very perfume-like aroma to it. And the tip of this is definitely sweetened. So you get a very sweet, sugary taste um, off of the shoulder of the cigar. I think, you know, we're gonna have a very mixed, robust, oh, yeah. you know, uh, smoke aroma here in the Stogie Dam once both of these things finally start uh, start going. But the thing, the thing about these is that the, the Nub series, especially all these, they all come in cellophane. So you can't really, you know, be that, that a-hole in a cigar shop in the humidor and put them up to your nose, because all you're gonna get is plastic and cellophane. So you actually have to buy the cigar um, and then test it out. Buy a couple of them. Get a they got Java from, let's see, the Java series from Jewel State. They have the mint. They have like a cherry or something like that. Um, they have so a this lot. one, they have the, ca the cafe series from Nub. Oh, and we, we can't have an infused episode without bringing up Deadwood Tobacco. Mm -hmm. And so, if you, those of you who are watching don't know what Deadwood Tobacco is or who they are, or what they produce, which is also part of Jewel State. That is. Right? They have. Our, our, our favorite women. That's right. So I think they've got the Fat Bottom Betty. They've Crazy got Alice. Crazy Alice, the Leather Rose, which is their newest line, Fat and uh, their Sweet Jane. And Sweet Jane. Sweet Jane was actually the first one I tried. That was actually the first one I series. tried too. And Sweet Jane was actually a really good cigar, one of uh, my favorite from that line. Uh, we recently took a trip down to San Diego, and uh, both Stogie and I actually had the Leather Rose while we were down in San Diego. That's not a bad cigar. Nah, it's not man. bad. Actually, none of them. So if you can yeah. play all, 
all the girls, I was about to say a different word, but I'm, I'm going <laughs> to be polite and not use that word. So you collect all the girls, and actually some cigar lounges have like this little tin can where it's like little mini petites. Yep. And the tin can, you get maybe five in a tin can, maybe 20 some bucks, yep. yeah, maybe. Quick smoke, if you just want to stop somewhere, have a yeah, smoke. 10, quick, 15 quick. minutes. Yeah, you want to enjoy the stick and get some sweet notes on your lips and on your tongue. Great series to grab. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get into the first third of this here. We'll come back with an update. What do you say? All right, so welcome back, everybody. So we're cruising through the first third right now. Brother Stogie, you want to tell us a little bit about some of the flavor notes that you're getting? It's a real soft tobacco um, taste, but it's really just cocoa, a little bit of coffee. Um, actually, a lot of cocoa, a lot of coffee, but a slight tobacco taste. How about you? Uh, well, through the first third, uh, it's really, really being overpowered, the taste of the cigar. Uh, by the sugary cap on the end of the uh, the shoulder of the cigar here, a uh, lot of sugar, and typically what that uh, what I'm talking about is they'll usually use some kind of a sugar coating or something sweet. Uh, you know, when they're using like that oil that puts the cap or attaches the cap to the shoulder of the cigar, and they put that around the tip there. And really, through the first part of the third of the cigar, that's all I'm getting is that sugary sweetness from the cap of the cigar. It's kind of hard to pull any flavor notes off of that because it's so overpowering. Um, but it is worth noting that these are full on, legitimate, real, hand rolled premium, premium cigars. cigars. They're not something that you would get in a gas station, right? Nah, not even. So, I mean, so if y'all wonder like, what is an infused cigar? What is a flavored cigar? So pretty much when you have your regular premium cigar, your, you know, your David off or whatever you smoke, your Olivas, uh, the flavor notes you get, like the cedars and the tobacco and those earthy notes are what's pretty much bred in whatever soil they're grown in. So when you're talking about your infused cigars, how the, kind of how that works is that during the curing process, when their tobacco leaves are like hung up and they're you know blow the old little curing process, what they do is you get like a spray bottle and put on whatever botanicals and flavor notes they want. So your coffees, maybe your you know Captain Morgan or rum yep. or whatever, they actually spray that on the tobacco leaves before they roll the cigar. So that's how you get those flavored infused cigars right there. So what that does is it, it mutes that hardcore tobacco taste that you get with your, your regular premium cigars. And that's why you're able to set. You can literally like, lick it and still get sweetness from you know mm -hmm. the shoulder of the cigar. And it's nice. So if y'all wonder what was the difference between a regular premium cigar and a flavored infused cigar, boom, there you go. If you don't believe me, go look it up on the internet, man. So JRCigars.com, TobaccoTalk.com, Fact, Tommy. <laughs> fact check me. Either. I do my research. I did actually have, you know, an experience because, you know, when you're smoking a flavored cigar, you know, and you're going out to a lounge or something like mm. that, you know, a lot of lounges out there are actually really, really cool about, you know, if they sell it in their humidor, they'll let you smoke it in their lounge. You know, it's one of those type things. Typically how it should be. Yeah, typical which is typically be. how it should be. I mean, if you're going to... If you're gonna sell it in your humidor, you should allow your patrons to, you know, enjoy it in your lounge. Um, but, you know, but if you are going to have rules where your patrons aren't allowed to smoke their infused cigars in your lounge, then you should make that known before they make that purchase. So, did something happen to cigar? Did something happen <laughs> to cigar type? So, I mean, something did happen, and I don't remember if we had mentioned this on a previous episode or not. At least not into this detail, but. You know, I was with a uh, with a friend of mine, and this was probably close to about a year ago. Uh, and we went into a cigar lounge, and we were looking for you know something to smoke. We wanted it. We were out and about. We found the cigar lounge. We thought, oh, cool. We'll you know kill some time, hang out, enjoy a cigar, enjoy the lounge, whatnot. So we went in. I went ahead and picked my cigar, and they went ahead and they selected their cigar, which happened to be one of the Java cigars. And this. You know, when you're talking about flavored cigars or infused cigars, in my personal opinion, the Javas are on, you know, that real mild spectrum when it comes to, I guess, the overpowering aroma that those cigars typically give off. And it's a very nice, pleasant kind of coffee. Some more, some more than others. Some more than others, but it was a nice, very pleasant coffee type aroma that those cigars give off. And uh, we purchased our cigars and everything. We went to go sit down in the lounge and we started cutting them up. And I, I'm not going to say where this was, but uh, the owner of the lounge actually came over to us. We should. 
<laughs> you and said, you know, oh, hey, I noticed that you had bought a Java. Were you planning on smoking that here? I thought at first, like, it was like kind of a joke, like, oh, you know, you know, some people, you know, you know when you're close to a couple people at the cigar lounge, they'll rip on you for buying an infused cigar, and it's all fun and games, whatever. Oh, you right. buying the infused cigar, ha, ha, ha. But uh, I actually said, yeah, you know, we're buying this cigar. We're going to go ahead and we're going to smoke it. And the lounge owner actually told us, he's like, well, if you're going to smoke that cigar, you got to go all the way to the back of the lounge away from everybody else, and you can't enjoy the cigar. Or you can't enjoy the, the cigar in the lounge with the rest of the patrons. And uh, that was a very unpleasant, unpleasant, off putting experience for me and for my guests because, you know, here we are as a group of people all sitting in the lounge, everybody's, you know, having a conversation, watching TV. And the way this particular lounge was set up was it was chairs literally all the way in the back by the bathroom, no TV, nobody else sitting back there. And that's where we were relegated to in order to enjoy this infused cigar. Now, BS. Which is right, which is BS. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I wouldn't have a problem with this if the lounge owner had told us from the get go that, hey, look, if you're going to have a flavored cigar, if you guys are going to smoke a flavored cigar, or you have something posted at the front of your lounge, yeah. just know that you know the rest of the patrons here don't typically like that. I get it. Get a lot of regulars that go into cigar lounges and things like that. Bougie ass people. But make it known. Snobs. Make it known before somebody purchases the cigar. You know that hey, look, you can have it in the lounge. And I, I realize there's going to be a lot of opinions on this out there, and people are going to say, well, I get it. I understand. I get it and I understand. I just want to know that. I want to have that information ahead of time before I make that purchase. And just coming kind of, kind of from the cigar time, you know what I'm saying? All the shit that's going on right now in the world that's separating people. The last thing we want to do is go into a lounge where we, where we are planning on chilling and relaxing. The last thing we want to do is be alienated because we chose to smoke a damn Java cigar and right. it just happens to be flavored. Not cool. Well, let's get into the second third here. Actually, you're kind of close to your second third yeah, here because you're uh, you're a lot uh, shorter than I am. Um, my cigar. <laughs> and we'll be back with an update. Just my cigar. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. So, Brother Stogie, you're kind of winding down your final third here, so we thought this would be a good time to kind of come back and just, you know, touch on a couple of things, you know, your your final thoughts on the Java. Or not the Java, I'm sorry. Nah, this is, the this Nub. This is my Macchiato double roast. You know, so, um, no hardcore, you know, tobacco, no pepper, no. It's, it's definitely a mild cigar, not a medium. It's definitely a mild cigar. Um, the, the, the flavor on the, the, the shoulder of the, of the cigar is still there. I still taste the, the macchiato on this, on my lips. It's very nice. Still all the way down to, I'm hitting the last third of my cigar right there. Y'all see that? Not a long smoke at all. What about you, bro? So uh, the sugary taste is still kind of lingering around from uh, the cap of the cigar, but you know, definitely getting, it's, it's really hard to say, but you know, some sweeter, very floral notes. That's really all I get from the Cuba Cuba. And I know as you kind of get down a little further into the cigar, there's some, I've had this before, obviously, um, there's some flavor transitions there. You know, I've gotten some earthy notes and that uh, sweetness on the tip does eventually, you know, teeter off and go away. But right now it's, you know, it's just a very sweet blast of perfumey, floral type of flavor um, that I'm getting from this. But you know, again, like you said earlier, don't let people tell you what to smoke, right? Find, find the ones that work for you, because not not all the you know flavored and few cigars are going to be for every type of you know dude or woman. Um, some of them are like super fruitier than most. Like they yeah. got the Tatiana Groovy Blue, which is like super fruity. Yeah. So that might not be like a man infused cigar stick, but this one is the Java. Cigar. I know tobacco, uh, the tobacco special has a couple flavor tips. Yeah, and there's some other ones on like the. Uh, the Kentucky fire cured cigars, you know, they have like a very robust, um, savory, meaty taste to them. Those are delicious cigars. And our guys over at uh, Culebra out here in Ontario, California, they have a nice little uh, infused section. My wife gets the, uh, what was it, the Crown Royal Vanilla? Yep. All, all the time. So I have a little section of my humidor I keep just for her, the Crown Royal Vanillas. And mind you, um, you know, you keep certain flavor infused cigars in your humidor, like like we said, the Tatiana Groovy Blue or something like the real sweeter 
heavier cigars, they might affect you know your premium six in your in your, in your humidor. Yeah, it just kind of depends on how many you're putting in the humidor at once. That's too. So I only allow you know two or three six for my wife at a time. You know what I'm saying so you don't yeah. mess with my whole damn stash. You know, but the more I guess the more premium they are, the, light, the less light flavored they are on the flavor side, your, your premium six will still be good. We hope you enjoyed this video. The sweet neck <laughs> episode that we provided for y'all to show a little bit what the difference between a few cigars and premium cigars. If you want to try it, do it. Hey, if you've tried a few cigars and you found one that you like that you stick to, you know what I'm saying? Drop a comment below. Let us know which one it is. No, I love the recommendations we've been getting in the comments. So many people uh, have been recommending things in the comments where I'm like, I haven't tried that. I, right? I need to give it a try. And, and so if there's and, some and, good and flavored coming. ones, yep, if there's some good flavored ones, let us know because I'm not above going out and trying not some different all. flavored cigars. Not there are all. some good ones out there. Not at all, man. So after y'all drop some comments, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button. If you are new to our channel, Please hit that subscribe. Hey, if you cruising by and you see the cigar tying and y'all enjoying y'all laughing, uh, come back. Hit the damn button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you get a new notification every time the cigar tying is bringing some fire for you on our channel. Fire. Right? Fire. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's what we Have fun out there, everybody. Please. I'm being so damn serious. Shit. Laugh, <laughs> smile. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time.